that noise? Who's crying? I don't know. Where's it coming from, Cindy? Sounds like over there from that old songbook. Jason, it's coming from the book. <laughs> That's silly. Books don't cry. Well, this one does. Maybe it's got a name. I excuse me, Mr. Songbook? Do you have a name? <laughs> yes. He talks. He really talks. Well, well, what's your name? Salty. Salty, why are you crying? Because nobody will sing my music. They just tossed me off in the corner and they forgot all about me. We'll sing your music. Yeah, we'll sing your songs, won't we? Yeah, yeah. But, but I'm a kid's songbook. I need kids to sing my song. We're kids. You are? Yeah, but how do we start? Well, this might sound silly, but... But first, you need to think happy thoughts about Jesus. Happy thoughts about Jesus? Yeah, like he's your Lord and Savior, and he loves you so very much. He, he loves me? Yeah, he loves you. He, he loves me, yeah, we're he loves me. You're we're doing gonna it. Sing. You're doing it. Praise the Lord. Sing.
to welcome you to this week's Sunday School Devotional. We pray that it will enrich your spirit and help you grow closer to God and His Word. Thank you everyone for coming and we will see you next week.
I hope you're learning your Bible verse. 1 Timothy 4.12. We're going to practice it. Repeat after me. 1 Timothy 4.12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. But set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Let's repeat it after me again. 1 Timothy 4, verse 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. But set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith. and in purity. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. Now let's try and say it all together. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. One more time, let's say it all together. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. Good morning. I will be playing O Happy Day because when God created the world, he created a new life and a new day.
for Christians. Yep, if we stick close to Jesus, he helps us live holy lives. Cooler than a lizard in Alaska. It doesn't matter how old we are. Let's rise up. Are you with me? Yeah! First Timothy 412. In the beginning, there was absolutely nothing to see. No earth, no stars, no animals, no light. There was only God. God then decided to create a beautiful world to display His goodness and splendor. He just spoke the words, and it came to be. Vast craggy mountains, soaring beautiful trees, crystal lakes and winding rivers, animals of every variety. He placed a massive sun in the sky, warming the earth during the day, and a moon to lighten the night. It was a breathtakingly beautiful creation. But God was getting ready for his greatest act yet, making man. He planned to make man special, not like the animals, but more in the image of God himself. So he took a bit of clay from the earth and formed man, and breathed life into him. There was man, created in the image of God, and God called him Adam. God made Adam, like himself, with a mind, with creativity, with wonder, with emotions, and he made him to be happy. Adam learned about all the animals. He played with them, and gave them each names, but something was missing from Adam's life. You would think he had it all, but he was missing a human friend, a wife. God made a woman, too. He put Adam to sleep, carefully took one of Adam's ribs, and formed a woman. Now there were two. They were made for each other, to love each other, to keep each other company, and to enjoy this beautiful world and worship God. Life in the garden was beautiful and blissful. It was, quite truly, paradise. Adam and Eve had no worries. God had created them. He took care of them. The animals were peaceful and kind. Adam and Eve had all the food they wanted. They saw beauty wherever they turned. They only had one rule to obey. Don't eat from the tree that stood in the middle of the Garden of Eden. That was God's only request. On the sixth day of creation, God looked at everything he had made and said it was good. On the seventh day of creation, God rested from all his work. Creation was beautiful, and man was in perfect harmony with God. God created many animals for humankind to enjoy. Each of them with their own special characteristics according to the purpose he has uniquely designed each animal for. One of those animals is the fish, which we can find in many Bible stories. And today we'll be making fish scales. The first thing you need to do is to draw yourself a nice fish on any color paper. Once you've got your nice drawn fish, the next thing you must do is you must cut your fish out. Now that you have your fish, the next thing you're going to do is get a nice piece of paper, any color, or if you want to get two or three different colors, that's fine. And you're going to tear your paper into little small pieces. Shayla chose blue, but you can choose different colors. Mm -hmm. 
once you've gotten all your paper the colors you want all torn into little pieces you're ready to put glue all over your fish pattern covered with glue that's your next step now you're going to take all of your little pieces of paper which are your fish scales all the different colors arrange them in patterns or however you wish where you want to place them on your fish and you're going to have a beautiful fish at the end don't forget to show us your pictures send them in so that you can get a special treat Remember to like and subscribe so that you can be notified whenever new craft videos are posted. Until next time, keep crafting! God made me. God made the world. God made me. He made the sun and the moon. God made me. He made the animals and the plants. God made me. Big and small, he made them all. God made the world. God made me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number one, God made light. He made the day and he made the night. On day number two, God made the sky. It's big and blue and way up high. Ooh. Day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the stars. He put the sun in the sky, super duper far. Whoa. Dolphins and whales and things that go squish On day number six, God made animals and bugs Foxes and cubs, all for us to hug Whoa. Whoa. On day number six, God also made man He said it was good and part of his plan On day number seven, God stopped to rest He saw what he made, it was his best Whoa.